You know, I was just talking into the camera for like 10 minutes and then I realized that I wasn't even recording. So anyway, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am. Every day is a wonderful day. Um, but anyway, Pastor Robert Jeffress just posted something on Fox News as an opinion piece. Um, that it's called Biden is president-elect how should Christians respond what is God doing in this outcome why would he allow this to happen um, it what I completely agree with what he said so it, it does appear to be that Joe Biden will become our 46th president I know I made that video like oh it looks like Trump won um, you know, I was wrong. Uh, last minute changes, votes counted. The red mirage, they called it. Uh, it. It's whatever, you know. Republicans won big in the House and local governments. I, I do think Trump is just a very divisive person. Um, but uh, he, he does technically still have legal avenues to win. Um, if um, I think the case is really strong in Pennsylvania, um, and maybe Michigan, nowhere else. But we'll see how Georgia is, too. President Trump, st strong policies on life and religious liberties would have seemed, from our vantage point, to be a better path for our country's future, which I would agree with. Many of you may be asking, what is God doing in this outcome? Why would he allow this to happen? Um, and, well, there is no good answer for that, you know, God does what God does, you know. Um, in Daniel chapter 2, verse 21, which he does point out, is that says that it is God who changes the times and the epochs. He removes kings and establishes kings. So yeah, God is the ultimate authority over everything. Human governments and rulers change at God's direction and design. Our faith and our salvation lie not in any human ruler, but in the ruler of rulers, the king of kings. We have to remember that even though the occupant of the White House is changing, the one who occupies the throne of heaven hasn't changed, nor will they ever change. The fact that God establishes authority means that by obeying the government, we obey God. Uh, and he's 100% correct. The Apostle Paul told us that everyone should be subject to governing authorities because there is no other authority but God. And God... Um, ex and those exists have been instituted by God. Uh, that's Romans 13, 1. Um, and, uh, and 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 tell us that we should pray for all people, of, like kings and higher positions, like the presidency. And he then goes on to talk about how it's easier to pray and submit to someone you would have preferred, but it really, it's really tested when you vote or when you have to do those things to someone that you don't like. Um, of course, there is the, of course, you know, if whatever they say says is whatever if they say something that contradicts the bible then don't do that you know there are very clear things that they or joe biden supports that um are not in the bible just don't support those things i don't think you should be voting for someone who supports those things but that's not important at the moment just as long as you are not doing those things it's it's an easier <laughs> fix to tell someone hey you shouldn't be supporting that person Versus, hey, you need to stop doing this. 
but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, then it just goes on to say that we need not be hypocrites, so we must submit and pray, even though he wasn't our first choice. Um, and if Biden succeeds, we all succeed, which is 100% true. Boy, this has been, it's been a lot. You know, they, they're always talking about how they, they're always talking about how, about peace and unity, but they're the ones causing all this division. You know, they were all threatening to riot. They're still rioting anyway, but they were threatening to riot in the streets if Joe Biden didn't win. Like, why? It's not that big of a deal. Well, to them it is because it's their religion. But, which, which makes sense because for most of human history, the religion and the government were oftentimes the same. So it's not far off that they would still believe that. But it is what it is, you know, you can't, nothing to do about it, so nothing to worry about. <laughs> Only worry about the things that are in your control, which we know is nothing that's in our control, but that's okay. Anyway, that's the whole video. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.